What's up, what's up, it's your boy, Just 33 King Productions. <clears throat> we are in the hood. Rough and rugged, rough and rugged, rough and rugged. We're going to be talking a little bit about Monifa and Irene. We're going to be talking about Monifa and Irene. Excuse my nose. Hold on. We're going to be talking about Monifa and Irene. All right, so <clears throat> what's up, everybody? What's up? What's up, Lindsay? What's up, everybody, for uh, joining me? Joining me right now. Um, of course, I look rough and rugged today, but it's all good. We're going to look rough and rugged every day because we're grinding. We're in the hood right now. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be... You know, normally when we dissect Monifa and Irene, we always talk about how they beef. We always talking about how they're not getting along. We always talking about, you know, the Facebook uh, beef, the Twitter beef, the Twitter finger beef, the beef between Monifa and Irene, right? Well, we gotta, we gotta figure out. I gotta, we gotta figure out. The plot, the plot that they conjured up together. I'm saying, I'm saying that is it possible that this can be a long, drawn out storyline with Monifa and Irene being on the same fucking team? But, 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 but basically. But basically making us believe that they're beefing when they're really not. Giving us the understanding that they're beefing when they're not. And this is a long, drawn out process when it comes to Monifa and Irene. Girl, this is Monifa and Irene talking to each other. Girl, you got to turn that beef up a little bit because I don't want them thinking that, you know, we did set her up because we did set her up. All right, Momo. All right, Irene. You know what I'm saying? We did set Kanika up, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? We got to be beefing when it comes to, to, to being on TV or we got to be beefing when it comes to social media. Is it possible? Is it possible that they are fooling us? Uh, Miss Lips Entertainment says, "I always thought they were fooling us because they they will get into and in, get into it and then be liking each other post. It's very possible somebody got to fact check that. Somebody got to do that research. This is where it comes to our subscribers. Our subscribers, y'all got to go check out those dates or those times when they was beefing with each other, yelling at each other, talking about pull up, Irene pull up, Monifa pull up, Irene, no, you pull up on Century and First Street, no, you pull up on Century and Second Street, we could handle this in the streets. <laughs> then all of a sudden, they like a picture of each other. Very possible. All of a sudden, they like each other's pictures. And that's crazy. Could it be that we've been fooled all this time? Could it be? What's up, Mac Tree? What's up, everybody? What's up, um, Lindsay? What's up, uh, Carolyn Hunter? What's up, Tracy? What's up, uh, Josh Girl? Girl uh, Josh Girl, um, One Love, if I said it right. Tracy again. Wendy Williams is in the building. Sh uh, Shanika. Uh, who else? Crystal Williams. Everybody, what's up for popping on in? And what we're talking about, we're talking about Monifa and Irene. Joanne, we're talking about Monifa and Irene's fake beef. It's very possible they, they had a fake beef. Let me see how I look in real life. Let me see how I look in real life. Let me turn them off. Let me see how I look in real life. Katrina Jones, Flea, uh, Flea, uh, Flea Gold, Flea Gold, um, we thought we gotta get you a new name because, you know what I'm saying, it sound like you got some fleet market ass gold, sound like you, 
Flea, oh, Flea God, Flea God. Yeah, we gotta get you, gotta get you a different name. You know, it sound like you the God, some motherfucking bugs and shit. We gotta get you a different name, my buddy. I ain't trying to dog you out, but Flea God, Finesse, it, uh, Finest, sound like you got a f flea market worth of fucking gods or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to do you in. I ain't trying to roast you. Uh, 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 my, my dude, but what's good? What's up, guy? What's, what's good, King? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's all good. You know, I got nothing but love for you, my brother. You know, but I had to roast you for a minute on your name. You know what I'm saying? Your name. It'll sound like a flea market name, man. Fuck. I can't get past it. <laughs> but back, no. I got me a big old thing of chicken. We're gonna be in this month for a minute. I I think I didn't ran off on uh, flea market. I did, flea market, are you still here? Flea market, are you still here in the chat? I ain't mean to run you away. <laughs> Much love. <laughs> Mac Tree said, "Much love to flea market." I didn't ran my brother away. Dominic Field, what's up? I look rough. I look rough. But when you're in the hood, you gotta look rough. Motherfuckers run up on you. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. I thought I ran you away, my brother. You know, you know I just went in on your name real quick. Looking ass. I don't mind if you roast me. You know, I used to have... I used to have a phone line when people call in, and it was called Rich, uh, Roast Just 33 Kings uh, Tuesday or some shit like that. It was really fun. It was really popping. People used to call in and roast the shit out of me. Seriously, I used to get, I used to really get salty. I used to be, I used to be mad as fuck. Like, why the fuck are they saying that? They need to chill out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But back to the subject. Back to the subject. Why are we in the hood? Tiff. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't shit. Tiffany's in the chat. Everybody run! Tiffany Draper's in the chat. Hi! Whatever you do, don't look at the screen when Tiffany Draper is in the fucking chat. Because you're gonna turn to motherfucking stone, that motherfucker. Motherfucker Tiffany Draper with her motherfucker. She be, boy, she be looking big and small and big and small and big and small. I'm be like, what the fuck is this girl on? Is she on a crack diet or what the fuck is it? Is she got motherfucking Wendy Williams as the motherfucking um, coach? Do she got motherfucking, I don't know what the fuck she got. But anyways, I got nothing but love for Tiffany. Still talking about Kanika, laughing a lot. I got my other channel back monetized and I could talk. But where is your channel that had 22,000 subscribers? Tip Miss, Tip Miss Tiffany um, M. Draper. Where is that channel? I want to know where that channel is. I want to know where that channel is. Talk about Kanika since her name is is in the channel. Uh, no, I'm, I'm talking about... Where is the channel that had twenty two thousand? Because she was that she was dogging me out. I got twenty two thousand. Just I'm catching up to you. I'm gonna pass you. I got over six million, six million views to your only five million views. Just I'm dogging you out. Just this is what Tiffany Draper was saying to me, and I'm like, and I was feeling this big. You know what I'm saying? I was feeling this big. I was so upset. Cause I was, I said, oh, I got more, subscri I got more subscribers, and I said, watch this, y'all. I'm sure I got more views, and I went to her views. I was like, motherfucker, shit, this motherfucker got more views than me. I was, I was upset, really, cause I was gonna brag. Yeah, why is your channel hit? Did you get in trouble? You know what I'm saying? Why did you hide that channel? We all want to know. Put a one in the chat if you want to know what happened to that channel that got 22,000 subscribers. Oh my fucking God.
You know what I'm saying? Everybody shout out Wayne T. Mr. Roller. Mr. Sorolla. So I'm believing at this point that I I hid my channel shower channel since the Kinnikin mess. You'll see it when I pop back up. I'm like I always do. I'll talk about Kinnikin. Oh, I like how she tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? The last time she was telling me what to do if we was in a relationship, me and Tiffany, she got pissed off at me because I kind of I kind of told people that we was in a relationship. And she was sending pictures and shit. And I was sending pictures and shit. And she, I ain't gonna say of what. Because last time I said of what, she was pissed. I mean, she was livid. Whatever the word livid means, she was pissed the fuck off. She did like a month worth of videos about me. But I, I always told Tiffany, I'm a fan of Tiffany. I really I am. I, I am a fan of Tiffany's. I like Tiffany Draper. And she said, keep my motherfucking name out your mouth. Girl, that ain't the only thing you had in my mouth. I ain't going to say nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Because the last time you was in Vegas, you know what I'm saying? We clicked up pretty tight. Me and Tiffany did. You know what I'm saying? We clicked up pretty tight. You know what I'm saying? Like me and Tiffany, you know what I'm saying? She, she, she's scrumptious. You know what I'm saying? Tiffany, don't lie. Don't lie. You know what I'm talking about, Tiffany. You know what I'm talking about. I love me some Tiffany Draper now. Cause shit. Man. I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be whack. But it was kind of bomb. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Big people, she ain't big, big people. But she ain't big, you know, they sweaty, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they sweaty, uh, blah, 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 blah. So, I ain't gonna say nothing else. I'm just, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But, see, what Tiffany did was she dogged me out. She called me a liar, and I ain't like that shit. You know what I'm saying, Tiffany? So, it's my turn to, like, kind of talk about the truth. And the truth of it is... We was supposed to be in a, we was supposed to be in a, we was in a relationship. And just like how she went out to that one dude house and moved and shit and had a bad relationship, she came out here and did the same thing with me. I'm like, nah, bro, it ain't going down like that. So I dropped, kicked her ass back to her mama house. I said, girl, if you don't get back to your motherfucking mama house, leave me the fuck alone because your attitude stank, but your body is, I mean, but you tight. You know what I'm saying? Your lips and everything, everything else is, you, you tight. Your attitude sucks. Your attitude sucks. But I still love you, though. I still love you. No, Tiffany dropped in, so I had to talk about it. I had to talk about it. I had to talk about it. But, um, I got 50 people in my motherfucking... I got 50 people in my chat. Don't tell me I can't get 20 people to like this shit. I can't get 20 people to like this. 20 people. I know I got 20, 20 people that can hit that like button, period. No matter what, 20 people. That's what I want to see before we move forward. And let me see those purple hearts go out for Kanika Jenkins. I need y'all to light up the screen with purple hearts for Kanika Jenkins. Light up the screen for Kanika Jenkins with purple hearts. And don't tell me what to talk about or how to talk about. This is my channel. I choose to talk about what I want to talk about. If you don't want to hear what I talk about, y'all can leave. Period. Period. If I got two people after what, what I said, then so be it. He said, talk about the great job Trump is doing. Ain't nobody seen no damn checks. Ain't nobody seen no money yet. I ain't, I ain't heard nobody get no money, so he ain't doing a great job. You know what I'm saying? The Kanika name, he ain't doing a great job. You know what I'm saying? Just because... He, he closed down the fucking state. I mean, he closed down the country. That don't mean he's doing an awesome job. 
no, my title said that I was talking about Monifa and Irene. If we want to be technical. But if y'all get here on time, then y'all can see that most definitely I've been talking about Monifa and Irene. But I don't, I don't, I don't mind people suggesting, but don't tell me what I should talk about. I could talk about what the fuck I want to talk about, period. If y'all don't like that, then y'all ain't down with just 33 King Production. If y'all down with me, then y'all down with me, period. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what it is about. Thank you, Penny Savior. Thank you for saving the day. Uh, but see, like how I asked y'all to do stuff. Like I said, light up the screen. Everybody should be putting out purple hearts for Kenny Jenkins. Everybody. If you could put a comment in the comment section, if you can sit here and listen to me, if you can sit here and watch me, you can put a purple heart in the comment section right now. That's what I mean by lighting up the screen with purple hearts. Put a purple heart in remembrance of Kenny Jenkins. Y'all want to hear about Kenny Jenkins? Put a purple hearts down. If y'all want to love Kenny Jenkins, Purple Hearts now, but I still haven't got my 20 likes. Monifa and Irene. I seen the video. I seen the video. Uh, that's a white heart, Byron. That's a fucking white heart. Kanika, uh, Kanika, that is, that is, that, that is, or the coronavirus, and we. And we was focused on her and yes, Irene and Monifa, ratchet asses. I'm suggesting just you are a cool dude. Thank you so much. I needed that so much. Tiffany, Tiffany, don't fuck with my hairline. Okay, Tiffany, I know I got a McDonald hairline. But don't fuck with me and my motherfucking hairline, girl. Okay? Leave my MFF. CJ Stunning. CJ Stunning. CJ. She don't want to get on camera. She, trust me, she don't want to get on camera. Say something new about Kanika. You see the bait. You see the bait that Tiffany tried to do. You see that. You see how forceful she is. That's why I kicked her ass out of my house. Like seriously, I kicked her out of my house. Y'all want to know the truth? I kicked, kicked Tiffany out of my house. I said, I said, get out of my motherfucking house. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you only want to have. You only want to do it like once every week. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then it's it's not even all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're supposed to be my girlfriend, Tiffany, and then all of a sudden, and I'm like, I'm like, Tiffany, I'm like, Tiffany, why is it that you look fat on this motherfucking picture, but then on the other picture you look skinny? Like, what the fuck? Are you like, are you like going up and down like you give a head or some shit? Like, she got some good head. I ain't gonna say that. Oh, Fuck, Raton Donna's in the building. Why is it that when Tiffany comes, Raton, Random News is in the building somewhere too. Whenever you see Random News, I mean, Raton Don, you go see Random News, you go see Tiffany Draper. You always go see the trio together. These motherfuckers be stalking me. I swear to God, and some part of me feel like Random News and Raton Don is the same person because you are never in life, ever in life, have these two motherfuckers had these two motherfuckers on the phone together. Never. You never have them in the phone on the phone together. Never. If it wasn't for me, your video would be boring as fuck. Tiffany, you really believe that shit? Tiffany. So that means I've been born since 2017. So that means after five million views, you know, I've been boring. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't I can't I can't get that one. I don't understand that one. <laughs> but if y'all look at Tiffany Draper's videos, it mimics me. It looks like mine. 
Like she does what I do. She wants to be like just 33 King Production. She mimics, she mirrors her platform after mine. Like she hacks my platform. She likes to get into my platform. She likes to talk to people that she thinks that I know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like people that's trying to hack me, take me down, try to destroy my image. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what she do. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's why that other platform was taken down. Her main platform with 22,000, it's gone. It's gone. She don't even have it no more. It got put on punishment. You know what I'm saying? Because she kept talking shit about me. Tiffany Draper was trying to hack my platform. And she was using technology that was mirroring my subscribers, like uh, Tanya Brown. It was a girl named Tanya Brown that used to get the same amount of subscribers and the same amount of views and the same amount of everything. Like, if my subscribers go up, her subscribers go up. I mean, it was like, it was the same number all the way around. Like, how was that possible? Tiffany Draper was Tanya Brown. Tiffany Draper is, um, um, Tiffany Draper is just 33 King busted ass tire. <laughs> Tiffany Draper is just, uh, King staking ass echo shirt. Tiffany Draper is a lot of different other YouTubers. Tiffany Draper is a lot of different people. You know what I'm saying? Tiffany Draper is 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 a lot of people. And she and and the way the reason why I know is because I put YouTube on, on that. I put YouTube on that ass. I put YouTube on that ass. You know, just like she knows different people. I know people on YouTube. I know people on Google. I know people that runs the company. CJ, where you going? Huh? I'm gonna be right back. I gotta go to I'm sitting on these stairs too. I don't want to deal with that. Wait, 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 wait. Is, 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 is this stuff going to be all right right here? I don't know. I'll be right back. I don't know. You can come walk in here or not. I wonder if somebody going to steal my shit. All right. All right, let's go take a trip. So, all right, let's talk. Let's talk a little bit. Let's talk about some real shit. So we got we got all the little little you know we warming up and everything you know how I do I always got to talk my my side jokes and shit like that you know what I'm saying for a minute uh but yes I am in Henderson so y'all can know I'm in Henderson you know I'm saying yesterday was really it was really tough out here in Henderson there was a lot of people out here getting arrested. Um, one of the persons that got arrested was CJ uh, Stunning little boyfriend. He got arrested. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just coming to say what's up. She on the phone with him and shit. She's about to try to, I guess, he was, I don't know. I don't know the story. Don't get me to start lying. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, hey, where, 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 where hubby at? He gone? So, so, I'm telling everybody that I'm about to, we about to start doing some, uh, reaction, how you doing? We about to start doing some reaction and shit, you know what I'm saying? And we gonna do it here, and her husband and I, it's gonna be the new 106 in Park, no, not 106 in Park, uh, the Breakfast Club, the new Breakfast Club. And we're going to be having fun. You know what I'm saying? And so... You don't got to get on camera, but... Oh, you don't got YouTube shit. Yeah, I'm on my YouTube shit right now. So... So, uh... Yeah, we're going we gonna to be doing that. But uh, I'll see you in a minute, okay? Okay. All right. Back to this Monifa and Irene. Like, wouldn't it make sense? Wouldn't it make sense if this was a life-changing event? If this was a life-and-death situation? You know what I mean? What's up, D? What's going on, man? I was outside. I got a 
Alright. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. This was a life changing event. This was a well thought out situation. When it came to Monifa, I Irene. When it comes to Kanika, when it came to the DMAT, when it came to everybody that was involved in this case, when it came to all these people, when it came to all these people, you had to be precise on what you was doing or how you was doing it. <laughs> what you know about what you know about? Tell him, tell him, you want to tell him what you know about? Who is that? YouTube. Oh, it's YouTube? Yeah, tell him. They want to see my booty? Y'all want to see our booty? Clap, make it clap. Make it clap. Oh, make that motherfucker clap. Make that motherfucker clap. Make that <laughs> Who on YouTube? <laughs> Who up there? Who up there? Uh-huh. Uh, we got Baton down. We got Mac Tree. We got motherfucking, that's all, all the above. We got Mario. We they got see that booty, that booty poking, huh? But they said they want to see it again. For real? They got some money? I don't know. Y'all got some money? Make that motherfucking <laughs> shit shake. Make that motherfucking shit. money? <laughs> Who, me? No, damn. You're supposed to make it shake. I got money. Oh, you got some money? What you, what you got? What you here for? I got a dollar. You got me fucked up. Don't ever disrespect me. <laughs> 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 I wonder if Nail Nail got some What? Money. No disrespect me like that. I got a dollar. Got oh, well, I got to go. Ain't that old girl, nigga? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck Come is here. What? Hold on. No, I'll get off of you. Hello? <laughs> this is that look. Y'all gotta I, I y'all gotta understand. I'm in the motherfucking hood. Like shit just happens. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't plan for that shit to happen. <laughs> Most indefinitely, I did not plan for that to happen, but it did. And she was she got some money. I said, hell yeah, I got a dollar. <laughs> Yeah, bitch. She was an ugly motherfucker. That booty is even ugly. Anyway. Wait a minute. So all these people are plotting and putting shit together. Uh, motherfucking Killuminati talking about straight drop was at the motherfucking, uh, uh, fucking Crown Plaza. I remember they placed me at the Crown Plaza. They had this motherfucking picture of me at the fucking Crown Plaza. I said, okay, if I was at the Crown Plaza, what was my damn job at the Crown Plaza? What did I supposed to be doing at the Crown Plaza? Was I there to DJ the party? Was I there to sell the drugs? Was I there to use the drugs? Was I there to kill Kanika? Was I there to save Kanika? What, why, what? Ah, damn, that girl is quick. What the fuck? That girl is quick as hell. Anyways, anyway, why was I there? Why was straight drop there? He just like that was the stupidest thing I ever seen. God damn, listen, I gotta follow this guy. Anyways. I believe that Monique and Irene's uh, job was to set up Kanika together. And we forgot about that because they disguised their relationship with the Twitter finger beef. Meaning everything they do from now on is going to be separate and it's going to be deliberate and it's going to be I'm against you and you're against me. 
My brother, you got an extra one of those I can buy from you? That's my last one. That's the last one? Oh, yeah, she got, no, 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 I got, I got one right here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I think their actions is, I think the action that Monifa and Irene are giving us right now is, is, is deliberate and it's, 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 it's fooling us. It's telling us to choose a side. It's making us choose a side. Are you gonna be team Irene or are you gonna be team Monifa? Yeah. Irene or Monifa? Monifa. That's all they say. I'm the one that to believe and we never gonna get the truth when it comes to choosing those two different sides. Because that's what, I, that's what they want us to do. And you need to stand back from that, um, that motorcycle because you got that cigarette and that blow up. Boom! Right. Ain't no joke though. And so, um, Chi, 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 uh, Chai Chai, Chi Chi, whatever your name is, I believe the case been solved. I believe that justice was already served, but. If I if I give it to y'all the way I what I the way I believe, y'all gonna look at me and say, get the fuck off YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna give it to you again, like how I believe. I believe that uh, Teresa got her justice through the streets. I believe that can uh, that, that Teresa got her found the killers. You know, people that killed uh, that, that 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 killed her daughter and they're dead. I believe that they dead. You know what I'm saying? I believe that they're dead. And I believe that uh that that's the justice that Teresa wanted. Whether you like it or not, I believe that she understands and knew and she gave Irene and Monifa a motherfucking pass. Let me hit that. Gave them a pass and Fuck. Bro, I'm I believe that Irene and Monique forgot a uh, pass from the hood from Teresa. And and uh, that's why they're not they're not dead because it was it was literally Monifa's I mean Kanika's friend. And this is very possible. This is very possible. The question that Chi Chi have is, do you think her mom was involved? What do you mean by involved? Involved in like setting her up to kill her? Are you asking what she involved in? Um, like how? Because I didn't try to give every scenario possible. I can't get coronavirus from my, from my wife. If I do, then so what? Mac Tree said, do I think it's one? It's impossible for it to be one person. It's impossible. Think about, think about the bigger picture. Think about, you gotta think about the time, the placing, the manner, the manner the body was placed, um, where she was killed at, how she was killed. Can't know, this was, this was an elaborate, it was more than one person and it was a company tagged to this murder. It was a company tagged to this murder. Think about that shit for a minute. Her mama don't seem fake. We only see her in the... You can't say that. I'm Team Teresa. You can't say... You can't say... And I'm, I'm going uh, to go back to the uh, tag, uh, tagging of the uh, company. Um, but you can't say Teresa seemed fake because, because we only see Teresa in a certain setting. We only see Teresa in a setting of, of uh, social media. 
we don't see her in her in her own personal setting. We don't see her in her own personal setting, like at her house, her home. We don't see her, you know, like, uh, like you know, like chilling at home talking about the case. We don't see that. You feel what I'm saying? We don't see that. You know what I'm saying? If, if we all can sit down and kick it with her at her house and shit like that. <laughs> well, what phone you got? Um, it's a Type-C. It's an Android charger, right? Type-C, though, the big one. Oh, yeah, I ain't got one. I do want one of those, but I know where it's at. I got a fart. Huh? You gonna smell it because you're so looking. Oh God, I'm finna fart. That's oh that pill. That's how you know that shit hit. Come here so you can you smell this fart. Why would I want to come over there and smell the fart? Hold on, wait. Let it this come out. <laughs> you said what? You know I ain't going to. Your booty hurt. Your booty hurt. And then y'all left. Why you over here on YouTube and you hear me talking about booty? How we supposed to know? How we supposed to get it? You told me to come over here. You stop, man. Stop. Stop with that shit. Anyway. Who you telling to stop with what shit? All right, boo boo. You know what I mean? I ain't your boo boo. <laughs> All right, young lady. You just got the hospital? Yeah, I had coronavirus. You damn. All right, why? Because he wouldn't be this goddamn uh, active. I wouldn't be this active if I had the wrong home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Go home. Just to kill the kids. You can't get too close to the cake, man. Make it come back. Anyways. Like if we if we can sit down with Teresa, then we can say you know whether she's fake or not. But I believe that she's a young, she's a woman who lost who, who lost. Stop looking at my booty. Cause I am a whole money. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> she got a booty hanging out. All right. <laughs> Come on, stop me. <laughs> anyways. Anyways. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't call her fake at all. We cannot. What is it? The backseat is the backseat? Hell no, I don't want to smell it. You almost made me slap the shit out right. him. Wait a minute, but wait a minute, but wait a minute. Face tatted. Hey, you can grab this? Yeah, yeah, I can grab it for you. She lying. She ain't no mighty. No, you lying. This is what I Okay, yep. Ah, shit. Uh. 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 <laughs> so, so. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just looking at this whole case like it's really, it's really, I'm, it's really an unfortunate situation. Let me go get my shit from over here because I don't want to, I don't want nobody to steal my shit. Oh, you're right here. You want to come out? I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. My room is the back room. Okay, the back room. Come on, girls. Show you. Okay. You can sit there. Thank you. You got kids? I don't know. Yeah, you gonna watch my kids while I'm gonna work? Where you work at? Why? Hey, you tell me. <laughs> That's my baby. Okay, I'm just asking. It's in the back room. Just the back room? Okay, I got you. My kids All right. up in there. Tell them to sit down. You know how I come here? Yeah. Well, depending on. I'll try. Well, okay, I'll... And you talking about she's 16? That's how. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh. Yeah. You going with you? Uh, no. Okay, good. Mm. All right. Huh? <laughs> that girl is crazy. How did how is that girl?
I'm gonna be right here. I'm gonna be right over here. How do I get into the shelter? I talk to you. Okay. I talk to you. Everywhere. Wait, wait, what Tiffany say? This is how you lie is disrespectful to Kanika. Okay, well Tiffany, since you obviously have uh, nothing positive to say, it's not disrespectful. It's my life and I can say what the fuck I wanna say. You know what I'm saying? You was talking about on your if you was talking about on your life how you was watching Pornhub and shit like that, and your ne and your nephews and shit be listening to you and shit, how you didn't want to pay this and that, this and that on Pornhub and shit like that. So don't don't come over here and tell me how to run my run my platform. You know what I'm saying? Like don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. I told you, the only way to get blocked if you bully the channel holder, if you talk bad about kids. Or if you're racist, those three things get you blocked. And so I feel like I should block Tiffany, and that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't say nothing on your channel. You know what I'm saying? Like, why can't I say nothing on your channel? Oh, well, because you blocked me. You get on your channel and you talk mad shit, mad shit about me, mad shit about me, mad shit about me, talk really greasy about me. You know what I'm saying? And then when I go to try to comment on it, I can't. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, you know, I, I'm I'm not like everybody else. That's what makes me different. You know what I'm saying? I don't do what everybody else do. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't do what everybody else do. Like you do what you do, you do the same shit, exactly the same shit. So how dare you talk shit about how I run my channel? You know what I'm saying? My channel is free and it's open. You know what I'm saying? My channel is, uh, is, 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 we don't, we don't hold our tongue. We, we don't, we don't, we don't, we, I don't monitor or say you can't do this or do that. Nine times out of ten, I let it roll. I let it pass. I let it go through. But as soon as you start being a distraction, then I have to do nothing but to block you. I'm going to go up a little bit more. There's more shade up here. I'm sweating. You know what I'm saying? So please don't do that. So I just placed you on timeout. Uh, just do you think a think a YouTuber has anything to do with KJ and what happened to her? Yes. 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 And I think I that person is passed away. He's dead. It's Zach TV One. You know, Zach TV One was heavy. When I say heavy in Chicago. He was the Michael Jordan of YouTubers in Chicago. Zach TV One was the was the Kobe Bryant of YouTubers in Chicago. He was the number one. He was the top dog. He was the king. He was the king of of Chicago when it comes to YouTubing. So much to where he had entertainers on his platform so big to where he was street he was hood so much to where he understood and knew who killed Kanika which hints to why he was murdered and they tried to cover it up and say it had he his death had nothing to do with Kanika Jenkins uh, death which was not the truth you guys gotta understand do you think Zach is alive like people say absolutely not that man is gone you know what I'm saying? Like, if he was going to fake his death and come back like Machiavelli, um, then um, he would have been back. You know what I'm saying? He would have been back. I think, I don't think he was involved with the murder. I don't think he was, I don't think he, I don't, I don't think Zach TV1 was involved with the murder. Like, the setting up of the murder and then helping it to uh, be carried out. I believe that he came in and understood and interviewed people that had that new information and understood and knew who killed Kanika. And knowledge is power. 
knowledge is most definitely power. Um, I think sometimes when you get too much knowledge, it can be it can be it can be dangerous to have, to to obtain, to hold, to understand. Was other YouTubers there? Absolutely not. Like the like the like the just thirty three King Productions. He was not there. The the the, the um, fucking stray drops. He was not there. Um, Tiffany wasn't there. Um, I remember when Zach TV One offered me to come out there though. That was right. That was when the case had exploded, and I was talking about the Kanika case, and he told me in so many words. Your truth, your 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 um, opinions is too much, too close to what's true. He wanted to silence me. Zach TV one wanted to silence me. He wanted me to be. He didn't want me to talk about the case no more. I said, absolutely not. I don't think Zach TV One was involved in the case. I mean, in setting her up. I believe that he po it's very possible that he could have DJed the party because he was a DJ. He was a DJ. He was a DJ. He was most definitely a DJ. He was most definitely connected to music, hip hop, entertainment. Oh, uh, Miss Renee said, don't at me, boy. She sound like a uh, motherfucking the game when he was talking to Meek Mills, when he was dissing the Meek Mills, Meek Mills and uh, 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 Pest Control. Don't at me, boy. Uh, I was just listening to that yesterday. That was some hard. That was some hard ass. That was hard ass diss track. Like, what you what what you're going to do if I keep adding? <laughs> oh shit, we got a little. Uh oh, what you got to say, Miss Renee? What you got to say, uh, Miss Parker? Miss Parker? Miss Parker? You know what you're doing over there, bending over like that, Miss Parker? Come on now, Miss Parker. You, you know you were tying down looking. Okay, so he just knew something. So, y'all remember when uh, when Zach TV One interviewed Irene? When Irene was sitting on that mother, when she was sitting on that couch, it looked like somebody's either had a gun standing off the camera, or. She understood, knew what the fuck was happening, or and uh, she was she was scared as fuck. But Don Don, I can agree when I when you say, I swear, internet people be so corny, and this is not a diss towards Miss Renee. I'm talking about that motherfucker Tiffany Draper. She's so corny than a motherfucker. Corny ass. Anyways. Back to uh regular schedule program. Back to the regular schedule program. I need to take a nap. Do you uh, do you hack phones and and is that's what supercomputer was about? Uh, Tiffany Draper hacked phones. Tiffany Draper would hack the fuck out of you. Tiffany Draper has the power to hack anybody that she wants. That's why our main platform, because she was marrying my platform, she was like basically she steals my subscribers. Um, like I can get so many subscribers, and it would not it would not show on my side, but it would show on her side. So she had to turn off her 
she had to turn off her platform so they wouldn't take it. So, 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 um, but Tiffany Draper most definitely would hack the fuck out of it. She would hack. She would hack the hell out of you. I'm telling you, like, I ain't trying to make shit up. I ain't trying to be like, I ain't trying to make none of this shit up, but this is, this is what happens. And, you know, uh, back to Irene and Monifa, Monifa was the smarter one out the two. You know what I'm saying? You gotta ask yourself, at the height of this case, and you had CNN, Fox News Network, you had all the major news companies. You had all the major news companies fucking uh, talking about the Kenny Jenkins stories. Why in the hell would you, Irene, give a simple interview to Zach TV One? Why? Why would you give an interview to Zach TV One? Tiffany Draper, Tiffany Draper be hacking my platform. Tiffany Draper be hacking my platform. You feel what I'm saying? Her, her, green eyes, all the motherfuckers, all of them, they be hacking, you know what I'm saying? There's some other people that I, I, I refuse to mention their names, I refuse to mention their names, I, I, I will not mention their names at all, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not... I can I can I can pay my it says including pay, pay promotions. I can pay myself and promote myself. Can I not? Can I can I can I promote myself with payments? Can can I sponsor myself? I think I can. So it's not a lie. See, every time you get on here you talk negative and you always distract. Yeah, this this is my this is my uh this is my makeshift uh coronavirus mask. Tiffany told me, she said, she said, just, I really want to do a, I really want to do a uh, collab with you, and I love you, and she was infatuated with me at one point. She got something that I, she got, she, I got something she wants, and that's that D. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. I'm <laughs> Huh. Also, what purpose would it serve for me to hack you? See, I told you. She said for me to hack you. That's what she said. How do you know so much stuff, Tiffany? Oh, my God. I hate that. I'm about to put you on time on on time out. Uh, I showed the hell if I did make a hundred dollars a month, that's a hundred dollars more than I made with everything else, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't mad about a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, or even four hundred and 
seventy nine dollars. I don't know. Like I don't. I don't care about what you think. If you don't like what I'm saying, why do you watch me? If you don't like what I'm saying right now, why are you watching me? You can go up the street and kick rocks. You know what I'm saying? So go kick rocks somewhere. Go kick rocks somewhere. Y'all dogged out everybody else. Go dog out somebody else. I don't know why I'm on your radar like that, but get me off your radar. That's all I'm saying. This is Jay for K. Can I get more likes? Can I please get more likes? I need to reach that 25 mark. I've been asking for 20, now I want 25. All I need to see is the big number 25. We almost there, we need just two more. We just need one more. 25 likes. In actuality, we need five more, but you know what I'm saying? We just need. Oh, our hospitals out here, you know what's weird? You can't sit in a lobby at the hospital. This is crazy. This is real shit. You can't sit in a lobby in a hospital. Um, once they discharge you, you can't use their bathroom. If you ask them for a mask, they're going to say we don't have none. So while everybody got masks on here, they will not give you a mask. They will not give you a mask, for real. So, you know, that's just what it is. This coronavirus got people scared, and I'm not scared. I'm not scared about the coronavirus. I'm really not. I refuse to be scared from it. You know, it's just a, it's a, it, over time, Don. I was telling everybody that yesterday that was a, uh, that the 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 coronavirus. Over time, Don. You ready? I think I don't know if you heard this, but the coronavirus is simply a computer virus that was passed on to human beings. This is the first time man have ever caught a virus from a computer or something electronic. They didn't know how to stop it. They didn't know what would happen. And so, basically, we got a virus from a computer. <laughs> laughing my ass off. Y'all laughing. Y'all may laugh all you want. Uh, Y'all can laugh all you want, but I, you know, all this wearing mask and shit I'm, I'm just doing it because it's i just like a little style on this little thing right here you know I, I i haven't you know the last time i caught a cold was like almost eight years ago i never had a broken body i mean broken bone I never had a broken bone i never had to take a shot for any sickness you know the most i ever had done to me is when i was dehydrated and they gave me some some hydration with saline or some shit like that. Like, you know, me wrestling and playing and running too much and not drinking enough water or some shit like that. But, uh, uh um, yeah, Vuitton, Don, I believe that if it's true, if it's possible that we can catch a computer virus. Now, everybody know that your phone, your cell phone, your computer can catch viruses, right? It's like human beings can catch human viruses, right? Animal viruses. Well, what if they crossed over a computer virus to a human? That shit sounds stupid. It sounds dumb. It sounds insane. It sounds like I'm high off of dope or some shit. Like, just have you been smoking dope or some shit like that? Because you're talking about, uh, you're talking about catching a virus from a computer. You're talking about putting your cell phone to your ear and all of a sudden, you know, you're getting virus from your cell phone. But we sometimes, you know, you got to think and think outside the box. You know, if anything, the United States or the United States or our governments is built on trying to, trying to, um, trying to make everything possible. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it. Think about that shit. 
think about this shit. So you gotta ask yourself, well, why do they want us to stay six feet up, six feet apart from each other and stay in a house? Well, if we stay in a house, what are we gonna be doing? We're gonna be in the house on our devices. Of course, they want us to catch that fucking computer virus. And I feel like another part of this computer virus is just AI waking up. AI woke up and it attacked us. What there's, you, you gotta think like this. Okay, you gotta think like this. You laughing at me, right? Right now you're laughing under your breath like this is going crazy. But if we can, if we have nanotechnology, nanotechnology is damn near um, microscopic robots, right? Microscopic, little, little, tiny little things, right? So if, if AI wakes up and say, hey, I wanna attack the human, human, human body or the human race, they can create a fucking virus of a bunch of little nano little bots that's microscopic, that's, that's so s micro sm small, so small, it's naked to the, it's, it's naked to the uh, human eye. And so if you, if, if you get that, I think that AI won't attack us like Terminators, like, like the Terminators, big robots walking around, and they're going to have microscopic technology I'm gonna fucking send it to us, and I'm gonna attack us from the inside out. Um, um, Baton Don say AI is not self-aware. Indeed, I believe that AI is self-aware, and I believe that's why they had us to stay in the house. You, you've been watching too many movies. Actually, I don't watch TV at all. I refuse to watch TV. That's why I be so in my own little world. You understand? But think about what I'm saying. Microscopic little robots like microscopic little things like like so small gathering in millions and like a million a million a million microscopic little robots can fit in the palm of your hand you know what i'm saying um uh, yeah right now i can't uh tiffany said uh because you can't afford cable you know what honestly i can't but it's not important to to have it to have cable. So you know that's for those um, dumbass brain. I mean, that's for the brainwashed people you know, that thinks that cable is a necessity. That you really have to have cable. But in Vegas, we already get all the channels that cable gets. So you know we live in a different time, different place than like where you from in the south. You probably need cable to get the channels we get out here for free, so. I live in Vegas. So, uh, yeah. But it's your boy, Just 33 King Production, man. I've been on here a whole hour. Uh, I've been on here a whole hour, man. I really appreciate everybody for tuning in. Until next time, make sure y'all tune in again. We got some more popping shit. Vegas get free cable. Fuck yeah, we get free cable. Vegas get a lot of free shit that most people have to pay for. Like, for real, for real. Like, motherfuckers really don't watch TV out here because it's already, like, we get, we watch Netflix and shit, like, Hulu. That's the only thing because we get, we get the little free little cable little box. Little, small little box with a little red button. Hit that bitch. Bang. So, um, make sure y'all tune in again. It's your boy, Just 33 King Production. And I'm off this piece. I gotta go. Holla at your boy. I'm looking at Anthony, I'm looking like, looking like Anthony, uh, Anthony, uh, Hamilton, I think that's his name. With the rough beard. Shit. Holla at your boy. I gotta go. Peace and love. Hey, tell Kaluminati quit posting that bullshit. Kaluminati, stop posting that bullshit. You on some bullshit right now, Illuminati. You on some bullshit. I gotta go. I see y'all in about three hours.